Welcome to News 8 this Wednesday. I'm Cindy A. Seguire. I'm John McKay. Thanks for joining us. New information just in on that uh, tragic and developing story in Denton County. Five people were killed in a home in Ponder, and the sheriff has just confirmed that the gunman was a man who shot his ex-wife, then killed her boyfriend and three children before killing himself. The ex-wife did survive. She is in the hospital at this hour. News 8's Cleo Green has been following their story all day long in Ponder. She joins us live with the latest details. Cleo? Well, detectives from the Denton County Sheriff's Office have been on the scene pretty much all morning. This neighborhood still roped off with cross tape. There's a mobile command unit around the corner. Now, this is a very active investigation, and as we're learning, those details are coming out here. We know a man walked inside of the brick home behind me there. He shot his ex-wife, their three children, and her boyfriend. We know five people were found dead inside of that home. The gunman, well, he turned the gun on himself. We know the mother is the lone survivor in this case. I've been able to talk to a few neighbors in this area who say they've seen children playing outside here and they're just shocked that something like this could happen. How long have you lived here? 16 years. Diane Booker says this neighborhood in Ponder is fairly quiet. It's always been pretty safe here. But now she's just a few doors down from the scene of a multiple homicide. I talked to an investigator this morning and he that was the first thing he said that we are not in any danger. The Denton County Sheriff's Office is just before 8.30 this morning. They got a call for a burglary in progress. When the officers arrived, they discovered multiple deceased individuals inside the house. Five people were found dead inside of this home, and a woman was taken to the hospital with gunshot wounds. I've seen them out and about. Uh, I think I saw them Saturday night, actually. But, yeah, it's pretty pretty scary, pretty, pretty sad. It's really sad that people get that desperate. All right, now once again, the Denton County Sheriff's Office tells me that this is still a very active investigation. New details are unfolding, but they do want the public to know that there is no threat there as they take down this cross tape. We're putting live here in Ponder, Cleo Green, Channel 8 News. All right, Cleo, thanks a lot. Again, this is still a developing story. Stay with us online at WFA.com and, of course, on air for the latest. New at 5.